known as dread. In this next experiment, we're gonna show you just how powerful dread can be. I should know, I was the guinea pig. Deception specialist Apollo Robbins has created an experiment designed to maximize the feeling of dread. When I think of fear, I'm reminded of an old game of risk. They would take a gun and load it with a single bullet. They would revolve the chamber and take turns firing at their heads until one of them backed out or... But I don't think it's the bullet that makes Russian roulette scary. I think it's the anticipation. What I'm gonna show you is not something uh, for the faint of heart. This is a real beer bottle. It's not, that's not made out of sugar. No, it's not. So uh, we're going to do this as a game of chance. Can I use the hammer there? Instead of a bullet. We're going to use that. It's pretty sharp. The bags will act as the bullets. One of these has a bottle inside. The bottle has the razor sharp points. Apollo wants us to take turns jamming our hands into bags chosen at random. Which means one of us might smash our hand on the broken bottle. Would you try this with me? What series of bad decisions did I make to get me to this point in my life? <laughs> I don't want to smash the death of Ukraine. Can you uh, cover mine and I'll cover yours? Oh, God. Jason, if you would, uh, please choose one of the bags. Uh, go ahead and hold up to your left hand like this. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, how hard are you going to push down? If you if you do this slowly, if you watch here, yeah. Put your hand above, like this. God. One, two, and three. Deception specialist Apollo Robbins has created an experiment to show you how powerful dread can be. Apollo has somehow convinced me to join him in a game of Russian roulette. Only in his version, he's using a jagged, broken bottle hidden inside a paper bag. God. One, two, and three. God. I don't know if I want to play this game. Okay. Uh, let's use my left hand. Go ahead. Hold you like that. Okay. Ready? Uh, one last choice. This is 50-50. We'll do it together. So we've done one each in both of our hands. Yeah. Can you uh, just grab hold of my wrist to pull that down? We'll just put your hand underneath. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. All right. No, one, no, 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 no. Two. Wait. God. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay, clearly that was a really intense experience for me. But why? Obviously, the rational side of me knew I wasn't in danger. I knew Apollo wouldn't let me get hurt, but along the way, he provided very powerful visual and descriptive cues that really built up my dread. All these moments that Apollo constructed caused my brain to second-guess my rational thinking that I was safe. When he clamped his hand on mine and I knew it was too late to turn back, Powerful chemical changes started taking place in my body. My brain triggered the release of adrenaline and other stress hormones, causing those classic fear symptoms like sweaty palms and that tingling sensation that runs down your spine. 